He's getting a lot more knowledge and he's learning a lot more as a race car driver tonight. That may pay off for him. Whoa! Oh, and as we talk about him, he loses it going into three here. The classic jinx and contact with Ty Majeski, who's making his first career start tonight. And for the Kyle Benjamin fans, yeah, right front damage coming to the top. A sincere apology because we absolutely talked him into that spin. Just a tough break for both himself and Ty Majeski making his first start. A lot of people are very high on Ty Majeski and, and looking forward to watching his career. He's only going to get a couple races this year as of right now, so you hate to see that happen. Both of those guys, really not a lot of races this year that they can uh, count on running. Benjamin was 14th when it got away from him. And I think he was probably going to save it. We, I think we've got a tire down here now. We're trying. No fault of Ty Majeski, nowhere for him to go. and. He got plenty of damage as well. It's our fourth caution of the night. Three for issues on track. One for the end of stage one as we go to Herman. Just wrong place at the wrong time for the 60th time. Majeski Adam running a really solid race. He got somewhere on the racetrack. He was comfortable and was just holding ground right there. But uh, as we saw it, Kyle Benjamin gets loose, slides down the racetrack. A lot of damage to the right front. A pretty sensitive area on this race car. They want to get back on the racetrack, try to stay on the lead lap, and some other cars come down pit road as well. Justin Al got Stage two, one exception, Brendan gone. He stays out and could be in position for a stage win. Let's go back and look at the reason for caution number four. You think maybe he entered the corner a little bit higher than, than he had been? He was flirting with the with the edge of where the debris is on the racetrack right there. When he got sideways, we see all that smoke and all that dust coming off of the race car. Nobody had been up to where they were three or four inches off of the wall yet. He may have just slipped that right rear a little bit into those marbles, and it jumped out from underneath him. But then again, watching that groove there, it looks like that thing was loose really early in the corner. I don't think, uh, I think he just got loose entering, and it... Uh, it ultimately collected him up into the fence. Yeah, I really hate it for Majeski, too, because he came along with nowhere to go, having a solid run tonight. I think all of us in NASCAR circles love stage racing because of the strategy. When we go green, the top nine drivers will have stayed out under this caution.